Good morning guys, it's Saturday morning. It's about seven degrees, um, so it's a little cold. It's definitely fall right now. Um, so I thought it'd be a good idea to go to the beach. Don't get me wrong, I know this is a crazy time to come to the beach and summer definitely would have been a better time to come. But with COVID, I felt like it was a challenge and I just got to a point where it's like it started to feel like a lot like fall and I just really wanted to come to the beach. So I've come really early because I know there's going to be a lot less people here and that way I can kind of still enjoy the beach even though it's not quite summer when I'd normally be here. After knowing, that's the stuff that I love, love. One of the things I love about Crystal Crescent is it's not just a beach, it's got this beautiful walkway through. So if you just wanted to come down to the beach, maybe not actually go on the beach, but have a nice walk, look at the ocean, and kind of have an easy time and a nice trail, it's perfect for that. And then of course, you have this incredible beach. The thing that I love about being at beach this time of morning is it's so calm. And I've always found the beach kind of a, an interesting place during the summer. It's busy, people are running around, people enjoying the weather. But like if you get here in the morning, even on a day today, which is incredibly beautiful, albeit slightly cold, um, it's just really calm. And the only thing you can hear is the waves crashing, which is kind of awesome. Kind of makes you drink in just how amazing beaches are. Like you just look out onto an open ocean and just these waves just coming. It's almost hypnotic. And, you know, considering how wild COVID's been and how quick and everything seems to be just jumbled into such a short time frame because stuff's opening up and then people really might close again. Coming to a place like this, even when it's not peak summer, is just a great way to kind of ground yourself. I'm gonna apologize if the light's a lot harsh because I'm staring directly into the sun and also if it's a little loud because of the, the ocean. But that's not really much of a complaint because it is so beautiful out here and so calm um it's really cool because there's some people just walking the dogs some people out here taking instagrams which they've got their game on and also there's people out here with like metal detectors looking for the treasure and you know i just think that kind of stuff's really cool because you know it's this time of morning when i run into people doing their hobbies and being more creative and it's just really cool and like a beach is a great place to come just to see if you like to people watch which i know can sound creepy but it's just nice to go out and see what other people do when no one's around for most of us coming to the beach is a summer thing it's coming with your family your friends and then taking advantage of some of the amazing things that make Nova Scotia special like how close you are to the ocean all the time but you know when we were in lockdown the idea of leaving your house was scary and that's something that I never thought I'd experience ever in my life, especially in Halifax, because it's such a safe place. But obviously when stuff like this happens, it kind of makes you reevaluate, you know? And I'm a bit more in a bit, kind of more thinking about things in a more abstract way, because the whole reason of doing this YouTube channel was to get up, share people's businesses, help them, support them. And now that feels like a burden. And I know I said that a few weeks ago and people are like, you're looking at the wrong way. What I mean is by burden is, uh, there's a business that's open close to us and I really wanted to go in because it was a very good place But they only allowed three people at a time. So if Gina and I went, that's two out of the three We obviously buy and support local when we're there, but if we're there for an hour That's that's knocking out, you know, two-thirds of the people that can be in there And that just seems selfish to be there making a video even if it's well-intentioned and That's why it feels more appropriate to be out filming these places and showing off the stuff that we can all do right now rather than going into businesses that are kind of got strict strict restrictions on them um i'm not giving up i'm going to find a way and i'm going to find try and find more creative ways of getting into these businesses because it is really really important that we do support local I just bought a new way. It is incredibly beautiful out here. And now I know that like Gina grew up here, so she spent a lot of time here. But for me, you know, growing up in England, we didn't have, I didn't have anything like this. Like it's taken me 20 minutes to get here and from where I live. And it's just wild to me that I can only have to drive such a short distance to come to something so beautiful. And you know, we're lucky in Halifax that we have this um, because a lot of places don't. We're not even that far up in the city and we have so much beauty around here. And this is for everyone to enjoy and it's just so awesome so thank you 
thank you for watching this week's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if there's any way you think we should have a video, especially if it's a local business we can go and help, or an event, or an organization that needs some support, please let me know. I'd love to find a way that we can help them. And if there's anything you think we should do, just go and explore. Let me know that too. Like I said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Fighting dragons always been a real one.